Hey, what's going on everybody? DroidLife.com bringing you another quick video today. This is going to be on the Google Maps 3.4 that was released yesterday into the Android market. I know we did a video on the hacked ported version just the other day. And sure enough, they come out with a new version that's official and has no bugs and all that good stuff, which we need to play with now. So let's go ahead and show you just some of the cool features, some of the new stuff that's been added, some of the things you may not have known about on how advanced this program actually is. And let's just get right into it. So uh, first thing we'll show you is obviously is the multi-touch. We can pinch and zoom all over the place. And that's awesome that they finally added that. You can still tap in and zoom and then use your buttons and zoom out, but the multi-touch just makes it much quicker and much easier. Um, some of the other cool things really what we want to show you today are the labs. They've added a bunch of new features in the labs. So if we go to our options button and we click more and then we click on labs, it takes us into this list, okay? So the scale bar, the terrain, the popular categories, the layer button, all those were in the previous version. But now we've got a couple of more. So I like the scale bar on there. I don't care about the terrain. I like the popular categories. I like the layer button. It lets me get in there really easily without hitting options. And I like the compass arrow because it shows me everything that's going on. It shows me which direction I'm facing and things like that if I'm ever lost. So um, another thing that I think this is new anyway is traffic with labels. Basically, if you have your traffic up there, you can now see all the labels on the roads and stuff like that. And they're not hidden. Um, the my location button is probably my new friend my new best friend it just adds a little blue button onto your map that lets you tap on that and it takes you right back to your location you know if you've been looking around all over the map um, bubble buttons are cool they basically just add a call button onto any of your search locations if there's a phone number on file with them which is very nice distance and heading haven't played with this one yet it says shows distance and compass heading on places and friends I think that has to do with Google Latitude and if you got friends on there and stuff like that, but not completely sure. I'll play with that one later. And then the last one they've added down here is measure. And it really just lets you tap on the map and then tap on another place and it tells you the distance between those two, those two dots. And you can keep adding dots around. It'll keep adding, you know, distances and stuff like that. So pretty cool feature. So we've added, we've checked a bunch of these buttons and added them. And let's just go ahead and show you how they work. Okay, so first thing, like I said, my friend is this blue is this blue um, compass right here. It shows that I'm pointing you know, southwest right now, and it's just nice to have on there, okay? Um, some other things on here are, let's go ahead and do a voice search, and we'll show you those bubble buttons. I know a lot of people forget that you can just voice search when you're in the maps, and we wanna make sure that you're aware of that, and we can still do that. So let's go ahead and go search, and we'll do a quick one here. Screen door restaurant, Portland screen door fantastic southern food up here in the northwest okay so it found it and that is actually the correct address over there on the east side burn side and you'll see this new bubble button over here it's got that call button if i just tap on that it'll go ahead and call the screen door restaurant for me very nice um and the other thing we can do is just click right on there and it takes us into some of the options we had before um like show on the map get directions navigate we can call them we can get street view we can add them as a contact um, and it also shows you, you know, the actual place and you can star it up here. Hopefully you can see that. You can hit that star button. It'll add it to your favorites. Um, we can go into details. And I think a lot of people forget about these things. You go into details, it gives you the website, you know, the URL for the actual, for the restaurant, the hours of operation, the payments they accept, if they have beer and liquor and, you know, all that stuff. So it's, it's, it's a great idea to go in and check out these options. You know, it's almost eliminating Yelp at this point. Um, if we go over here and check out reviews, you can also check out reviews. We've got 112 reviews on the screen door. And you can see in here, we got a ton of reviews and everyone loves the screen door. So anyway, we'll go back and let's just show you um, in this address field, let's just go street view. Not sure a lot of you knew that you could go street view on pretty much any location. And sure enough, there it is. And we can spin around and we can go up and down the street if we want to. And we should be able to tap up there. No, it doesn't work that way. Um, so it's pretty cool. Got to love Street View. You can always check out exactly what you're looking for. And then let's go ahead and show you Navigate. Since the Navigator has been updated, you can see new startup screen says Google Navigation Beta. And if we pull it up, you can... Yes, that's where we want to go. Um, and there is our big view. And then if we want to get back into our turn-by-turn... We just hit that button, I believe. Yep. Okay, hit your blue arrow and it goes back to it. 
Um, we can tap on directions up here and we can just keep skipping ahead to the next direction, which is very cool in case you want to jump ahead and see where you're going. Um, you can just see the layout now has just a ton more stuff, you know, like your times down there. And I'm pretty sure that will update while you're driving, you know, and it updates all this stuff up here and it just looks different and it's more clean and it just seems to flow much nicer. Um, we can hit this little guy and it should take us into street view, which is the real view. And that's pretty cool. And we can still keep skipping ahead. Got no image on Burnside for some reason. Um, and there we go. Very nice. And just hit that blue arrow and it'll take you right back into it. Um, if we go to options, you can get more layer stuff. You can mute it and get route info and things like that. And then at night, supposedly this goes into night view and uh, night mode, you know, and it, and it darkens so it's not so bright and blinging in your eye like a normal GPS. And we can't show that to you since it's the middle of the day. Um, if we want to get out of navigation, we go exit. And then we can also show you this get directions thing, which is even a handier version than navigate sometimes. Navigate can drain the hell out of your battery. Sometimes it's nice to just go in here and just look at directions. Um, if you're in here at directions, you know, you can just tap all these arrows and they take you to your next spot. And that's pretty much it. But they're in a lot nicer navigation. Like I said, navigation drains the hell out of your battery. So um, let's go ahead and go clear map, get you out of there, showing you some of that cool stuff. Let's show you this measure tool. Um, since we picked the layer measure down here, we got this little yellow button. See, and I tapped it, now it's now it's on. So if I tap it, now it's off gray. When you tap it, it turns yellow, then it's on. And really all you have to do is just tap on your map, it gives you a dot. And you can see that green dot I just put on there. And then to, f to find a distance, we can just say, uh, let's say I want to go downtown. And I just tap that. And it tells me I'm 4.4 miles from downtown Portland. Okay. And then if I want to tap, let's see, I need to go up and visit my brother. And I tap up here in Northport, and it tells me that's 10 miles from downtown. Obviously, it doesn't factor in the roads and things like that. You know, it's just a straight line. But it's a kind of a cool feature. We can just tap around and keep tapping around. And it'll keep telling us all these. And we can scroll over here and then tap over here and tap up here so it's really nice and you know we can still pinch and zoom and do all that stuff while we're doing that and then you can keep tapping and it'll keep doing it and to get rid of it you just hit your yellow button again down here and it should clear you out and sure enough there it did so now that we've been browsing around the map and we're way over here we want to get it back home we've added that layer button which is the little blue one which is our home button which is our my location button and if we go ahead and tap that it should take us right back home and sure enough, it did. So if we zoom in, or I'll show you that again. Let's just scroll way over here, East Portland, and we tap blue button, and bam, takes us right back home. So a bunch of new features, a bunch of cool stuff going on with the Google Navigation 3.4. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot them to me. Leave them in the comments at the YouTube channel, or check us out at the blog, which is droid-life.com. And we're out. Peace.